truck sounded good and uh, I heard spooled up at tensions and I was like no way and sure enough here comes Craig and the guy with the turbo and Harley bagger and much respect to the guy with the turbo and Harley bagger because uh, my R6 that I had that I put to get I, I did some things too and it was substantially fast I mean I didn't I didn't lose a race to another 600 and I can promise you that only person I ever lost to was that turbo bagger and the dude was wearing flip-flops shorts and a freaking cut off with his hat on backwards and he come around me on the big end on a crotch rocket I was like man much respect but uh yeah shout out to Craig for uh sharing my video I did a little burnout for me he, he told me to do a burnout and I, could, I couldn't not do it but uh yeah we're gonna get some things done out here at the shop and um hopefully get a little further on it all right guys so when I said uh everything doesn't always go to accordingly so James give him a rundown of what happened here Okay, so we weren't thinking, and we had the truck, had the weight on the rear end, which the two anchor points on the ends of the frame, which made the center of the frame sag. When we put the bed on, there was a gap here. So, being that we didn't permanently weld that one, we just kind of had it tacked together with a few stitches here and there. We decided to cut it back apart, take the C-notch back off, we're going to bolt the bed onto the frame to keep the rails parallel since we don't have like a frame table right now. That way we know that from here, from this point to the end of the frame, we know it's completely flat with the bottom of the bed. Um, like I said, when we bolted together, there's a huge gap here. It wasn't huge, it was about a half inch, which wasn't okay with me, so. Now we're gonna get everything ready to weld, bolt the bed back on, tack weld it, pull the bed back off, permanently weld it. Yeah, then I'll be good. Like I, like I said before, we we don't really do shit half-assed. I mean, if it, if if it's in a quick, fast, and a hurry, you know what I mean. It's not something that's real important, and that'd be different. But I mean, that's kind of. I'm, the truck we're shooting for 800 horse i mean if it winds up being 800 horse and things are unsafe it could put taylor's life you know in danger anybody that's with him in danger that's why anybody's racing in danger yeah and that, that's why it's getting roll cage right off the bat yeah, i think um i think he's shooting for a chromally roll cage chromally tubing instead of mild steel so 10 point yeah so it'll have everything all the provisions it should need for a while anyway. I can't remember. He's not going through S and W, he's going through the other place, ain't he? I'm not for sure if he's gonna end up going through S and W or Rhodes. Because yeah. he's already bought like his fuel cell, he bought an anti sway bar from Rhodes. So the prices are about the same by the time you factor in the freight for it, which we kinda got an advantage here. Um, we have ways that we could unload it here and a big truck could actually turn around in, in the yard and everything. But um, it's two hundred dollars for free, yeah. Well, it's two hundred dollars from Pennsylvania, which is where S and W is, which I would rather like to have that cage. But Rhodes is a good cage also, and they're in Indiana, so it's two hundred from um, S and W coming from Pennsylvania, and it's one hundred seventy nine coming from S and W. So that's Rhodes, a, which is in Indiana. Yeah, this would be one of them good. Uh, the custom offsets and what's that other company that says we shit on custom offsets we'll get your wheels or your front door whether you're in egypt or the united states but uh we i ordered the s and w cage it was a six point cage through um s and w race cars and everything fits okay we haven't really put everything together but like the rear bars are super long it says fit for the s10 so that'd be kind of cool to compare the Rhodes versus the S&W. Right. Uh, I can't remember if the Rhodes comes pre-notched, but one comes pre-notched and one doesn't. So, I mean, one's ready to weld in and one's not. I believe 
I believe Rhodes was not three notch, but I'm not, I can't remember off the top of my head. I was looking at them last night, but bouncing back and forth between the prices and, you know, this review or this review. I don't know, I think they're both about the same quality. I think they're both would be really a good option. Even though we're going with a 10 point right now, the 10 point may not be put in. It may just be a six point or an eight point at the moment. Um, just because we're trying to get the truck moving. So if we can get it moving and then go back later on and then weld more cage in, I don't know, it may all get welded in now. It just kind of depends on how we feel and what's going on. And I know winter's approaching pretty quickly. Um, so that's when we'll be able to put a little more time in and get a little more stuff done. And, but yeah. You know, be able to fire the heaters up. Um, I think we'll get probably a time lapse of going on this get everything right on it and then uh, we'll catch up on video. Alrighty, alrighty, alright, alright. We are. Got them in there, got them laid in there. Nice and warm like. Got that one laid in there. Fuel cells probably gonna sit in there two days. Kick the fans off. It starts getting warm in here. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, you get kind of an idea though. Getting ready to set the bed on it, and then uh, that'll probably be the end of it. But played done some pretty well. Um. Looper for a fact. Nothing wrong. Just weight reduction. I'm just kidding. We're gonna weld that back in there. Oh, you save a piece, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's touch hot metal, sharp metal, yeah. Anyways, don't worry about it. It'll go in there. But um, yep, we're gonna set the bed on it and we'll probably end this video off after this time lapse. Um, we got done more than I thought we were gonna get done today. We got the C9 welded back in, fuel cell and stuff done. We just need to take these, drill some holes. Um, got some straps to go over the top here. Put the holes are in there. Bed's gotta come back off again anyway for welding the shocks, yeah. welding the anti roll bar. Yeah, I just wanted to crack the rear end of the truck, but uh, hope you enjoyed. Enjoy this time lapse for the end of the video, and I'll see you next time.